Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Come on, Slate, stop dragging. Take another hitch in your trench coat, lover. I want you to look splendid for the employment agency. Come on. Senor Bonomo of the employment agency, Bonomo's. Don't open your mouth, senorita. Close it for me. Oh, you like the tight lip type, huh? Shut the mouth, please. Ah, devastating. What a third floor upstairs mate you will make. I got the upstairs. If only I had the third floor. Oh, Buster, what are you building? We... The uh, man with the wasp waist, the trench coat, senorita. What is it, your agent? You need no agent with me, baby. Look, honey, baby, you called us, remember? You saw our ad for a hotel clerk in El Shopping Gazette, and you called us. You are Senorita Duval, and this peddler is Senor Shannon? Bonamo, baby, you better come up with a hotel clerk, or I'll have you bobbing for dills in that pickle jar over there. The tech pickle clients, for you they are free. Help yourself while I show you the photograph of the clerk I have chosen for you. Gaze upon him. I ask you, gaze. Mmm, yummy. Not the pickle sailor. He means the guy in the picture. If you like him, I'll buy him for you. Well? Mmm, look at the experience he's had, Slate. The best hotels and that zippy mustache. I bet he's a doll with a hotel register. And for mm. you, he will work for cakes and nickels if I have to beat him. You made a sale, Bonamo. Have him over at Shannon's place at six this evening. Let's go, sailor. You're going to eat that pickle walking back of me, huh, sailor? Yeah, Wilson here. Senor Wilson, I got you the job. How I had to beg, to plead, to crawl on my knees. Honest engine, Bonamo, where? At Shannon's place. Stay on your knees, kid. Shannon's place, huh? You don't know what you and Shannon have just done for the world, Bonamo. You've just made it a worse place to live in. You know what I feel like doing, Al? I already done it. After Bonamo called, I went right out in the street, right over there in the corner, on my knees, and kissed the sidewalk. Now, look what we got, Bobby. Someone to smuggle us the stuff, a place to fence, a dream setup. Yeah, a place to fence the stuff. Shannon's place. <laughs> Me, a clerk in Shannon's place. That's a way to start out, kid. Bottom rung, you'll have to wind up owning the place. You... Me and girlfriend May. Don't worry about May. She'll do her job from Key West, okay? I know, I know. Uh, one thing, Al. Shannon? Uh, they say around... That he's rough? Oh, rough, Bobby. Shannon? <laughs> Just nothing at all. Now, the thing you have to understand, Mr. Wilson, is that... Oh, this... sure, sis, I understand. But you tell me anyway. I'm a peachy listener. Yeah, we like that in our hotel clerks, don't we, Sailor? I'll tell you another thing I like, Wilson. I like you to call Sailor here Miss Duval. 
That is, until you get the hang of things, huh? Oh, with an employer like her, Mr. Shannon, I could get the hang of this place in a long minute. Yeah, that's what I said. You're fired. Slate. Slatey. Mr. Shannon. Boss man. Yeah, what do you want? Let's not be hard on the boy. Let's consider for a moment how you got this hotel. Well, that was different. Yeah, well, let's tickle the past later, huh, kid? Here comes a customer. Let's watch your boy clerk handle him. Make it live, Wilson. This is it. You're on your own, lad. And you'll be impressed. I crossed my heart. You'll be impressed. Oh, uh, welcome, sir. A heartfelt welcome to... This uh... is the place of Shannon. You named it, mate. This is Shannon's place. What can it do for you? When I got off my ship, La Princesa, a man from a cab on the docks, he said to me, Shannon's place. They wait for you, Cadillo. I take you for nothing. This he said to me... You, uh... Got something that'll make us believe he said all that? In this packet, in oilskin. You made us believe, Senor Cadillo. Give it to me. <laughs> For 3,000 pesos, Senor. The price of my poor little pocket that has slept under my head through so many loud oceans. Three grand, huh? You got bargains, mate. Give it to him, Mr. Shannon. Three grand and a tip for his trouble. You bring a flair to the hotel business, don't you, Buster? Yeah, that I do. Me and this gun pointing at your open throat ensemble. We give a new wrinkle to the hotel, Dodge. And I thought a boy with a mustache like that would be different. You got three grand, Slate? He's got it. And the safe. I used up my rest period to tote up all the dough the current guests left for safekeeping in your tin can, Shannon. Yeah, I must send this little anecdote into the Hotel Owners Association. It'll pique them. It's open, mate. Help yourself. Happy, Senor Cadillo? Oh, see, see, I, I never expected. No one hardly ever does. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just did for you, Shannon? I made you a hero. You call the cops and tell them how you shot a thief dead. With me as a witness, you were just born to be a hero. The phone, Shannon. Dial operator to stay alive. Make it good, kid. Mr. Vall shot in the back by my gun's not pretty to think about. Senor Shannon, where are you? Out here on the patio, Inspector. Ooh, you smart fellow, you. We're staying alive and happy today, aren't we? <laughs> aren't we, sis? Bully for us. Ah, Senor Shannon, Senorita Duval. My greetings from me to you. And to you too, Senor. But, por favor, I have not had the pleasure of getting acquainted with you. I'm a friend of Shannon's. Uh, Mr. Valls, too. Then you are a friend of mine. Now, uh, Senor Shannon, what is it you wish of me? A uh, friend Shannon just had an experience. He um, shot a man to death. Shot a man to death? Is he tweaking my proboscis, Shannon? Is he? Tell him. Uh, well, I, I couldn't help it. The sailor, this guy came in, tried to rob the safe. I saw it all, Inspector. The sailor pulled a gun. Shannon was a hero. That's the way it happened, huh, Mr. Vall? I, uh, can't hear you, Mr. Vall. Just the way you said it. In the lobby, see? A dead man. A kill-to-death man. Someday, Senor Shannon, you will be too fast with that gun of yours. And I personally, I, Inspector Alfonso de Vasco y Perez, y Melvin LaSalle, will conduct a fiesta to celebrate your stay in prison for the rest of your days. I will trespass in your lobby, senor, and try to convince myself that your story is true. E. Melvin LaSalle. He doesn't look like a Melvin, does he? <laughs> Everybody did real good. Now, one question, Shannon. You, uh, like Miss Duval here? <laughs> sure you like her. I like her, too. We all like Miss Duval, so, uh, let's all keep her breathing. Yeah, let's. I like it. What's on your mind, Buster? What's on your mind, Buster? The way he says it. I like you too, Shannon, so here's what. 
Number 10, Place Royale. Go there. See a man there. He's going to like you, too. For delivering our little package. Now get going, Buster. Our lady friend here is going to fall flat in her face. Beat it. Shannon, huh? I've been peeping at you coming down the street. Yeah. How are you today? Frisky one, huh? <laughs> Take your chance, kid. Tough you muffed it. Get up. Now inside. You having a bad day, huh? Let's try all over again. <laughs> one more step, Shannon, you'll die from bullets. You got something in your pocket for me? Yeah. Here, catch it. Ah. Now I gotta wait till you wake up. So we can take a boat trip together. Me, you, package. We'll have a lovely time. This bold venture is a real fine boat, Shannon. And you run it real fine. How does it feel, Buster, sitting there with a gun pointed at another man's head? At his mouth. Sitting there grinning at him, knowing you can squeeze the trigger and watch him fall over dead. Gives you something to latch on to, doesn't it? Makes you feel good. Shut off the motors. Like you said, I could watch you fall over dead. That island ahead? Like a thousand others in the Keys. Small, but oh my. That package strap good and tight, Shannon? Why don't you give this up, big man? That island's a hundred yards from here. When you jump, I'd swim for it. Next one's about a mile. A mile with sharks. So I'd try for that one. One more thing. You sit on the beach and you wait for a gal in a rowboat. Her name will be May. Then you'll be in business. Jump. Jump, Shannon. Hold on to that package, kid. You'll need it to live. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Tell your boy to make happy with that guitar, honey. You heard the man, King. Sing something happy. How can I have such a song while he is pointing a gun at me? Try real hard. Sing. Better do what he say, King. Because you say so, Miss Sailor. The man with gun or a happy tune Oh, bury me not on the lone sand dune Why such a man is on the loose When there's furnished rooms in Havana caboose <laughs> Funny music, funny man <sighs> Lying here on your patio, sis? Nice <sighs> You know something? Yeah, I know something. 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. Choose your month and drop dead. <laughs> February is nice. It only has 28. You see right here? It's a funny board. You tickle right there. Al. Uh, here's our boy, sis. Hiya, Bobby. Good people, good, good people. Where's Slate? I saw him last doing a six-speed Australian crawl through the briny. Going good, too. That boy's a swimmer, I tell you. Went okay, huh? A beaut. 
All we do now is wait. About six hours, I'd say. What about May? I suggested February. Okay, May. Ain't she the one, Bobby? She quips. It's nice for a girl to know how to quip. They're few. Don't worry about May. She'll show. She'll handle her part of it fine. Ramirez? Six hours from now, I said it. He'll show up at the island with his 50 grand. His business is diamonds. Our business is 50 grand. We'll take the bold venture back to the island and collect it later. Answer a girl a question, huh? What's going to happen to Slate? Slate's not coming back. Not now. Not tomorrow. Not ever. You like that? I'm your new boss. Honey, <laughs> you see that, Al? Slug me. I got a girl with tiger blood. Golly, I'm lucky. <laughs> Is you on the beach, Shannon? Or just somebody I dreamed last night? Going to Havana, lady? I'm just a poor hitchhiker waiting for a rowboat with a kind lady like you in it. See, I've even written it in the sand. Havana or bust? Name's May. Bobby or Al might have mentioned me to you. Run up your pants legs, derelict, so you can help the kind lady to shore. Thanks. I was just beginning to wonder what there was for a nervy fella to do on a lonely island. Out of the boat, honey. Sure. But you carry me, huh, baby? So me and my little girlish gun can nestle up real close. Uh, don't nobody go around without a gun anymore. I can remember way back when... Carry home. me, baby. You'll wipe all your other memories clean off your book. It was sure lonesome till you came, lover. Oopsie daisy. I'll hold on tight so you can pull the boat ashore after us. Now you make it like pie. Well, Kelly Ho and the Yoikes, we're off. I, I did that good, huh? Now let's lift another weight off your mind. The packet strapped to your chest. I hope you're not from the customs squad, lover. This could look real bad for me. <laughs> you're a good boy, baby. Just because you're such a good boy and let me take this packet, I'm going to sing you to sleep so you can rest your weary bones. I think you ought to know this. I left my sleeping bag back in Havana. There's a shack at the end of the island. You and I'll wait for Ramirez there. Who's Ramirez? Do we need him? I need the dough he's going to lay out for the stuff you brought. Come on. This is it, Al. The Bold Venture. Real fine boat, isn't it, Mr. Val? You like boats, Bobby? Trim things I like. I meant to give it a mention. I meant to coin something nice about the boat. About you. I've been busy. Get in, Al. Now help, Mr. Val. My pleasure. Ah, don't I get a thanks? You could stick your head in the starboard propeller. I'd say thank you over and over again. She don't like you, Al. The port propeller's nice, too. It slices thin. Hundred <laughs> percent, Tiger. We need that comedian anymore, Bobby. Uh, your friend, Al. Yeah, my friend, Al. Gets in your hair, huh? Come on, Bobby. Wait a minute. You going off your rocker, Bobby? Now listen to me, listen! Oh! That's how it's done, Miss Duval. Now wave goodbye to Al so we can sail away to a collection in Key West. <laughs> That's Ramirez on that power launch slate. Go shake his hand, give him the diamonds, and bring back the 50 grand he'll shower on you. From here to Ramirez's boat, a bright fellow could think of something. The heater's still on your back. Ramirez will have his on your eyes. You, uh, bright enough to think yourself out of that? Uh, everything just went dull. Goody. Go on. Ramirez is waiting. Hi, 
I brought you your dough, lady. I wait hand outstretched, toes akimbo for my tip. The lullaby I promised you, Slate. Turn around. Uh Uh-uh. I want to watch. Unless you can stop a bullet with your teeth. Turn around. (laughs) Pleasant dreams, baby. The island where you dumped Slate? I told you. I let him swim for it. See that shack, love? That's the pot at the end of the rainbow. Let's skip to it, hand in hand. May? May? I'll be right out, buddy. I'm just freshening up for you. I shouldn't have bothered. Huh, Bobby? Look, May, you want Bobby? You take Bobby. I ain't greedy, May. I'm just... You ain't a lot of things, baby. You go slumming in Havana, Bobby? That way you got a memento like that? Yeah. Precious, isn't it? Bobby, scum. You listen to me. All I got to listen to is your thank you when I ease 50 grand off you. Kiss me with it, May. You take me too or you get nothing. (laughs) Clumsy, May. You say the wrong things. The dough. I'm asking like a gentleman. The dough. Here. Take it. Take it. Leave me alone. Whatever you say, May. She hit her head on the edge of that table. It's it's bleeding. She, She looks... Yeah. She's liable not to pull through. Now, let her alone, tiger girl. I got a better way for you to use up your gentle. I'll show you in Miami. May. May, can you hear me? Oh. What happened? I'm giving you something, Slate. Look, kid, you've been hurt. You need help. They... Bobby, your girl... They went to Miami Beach. That's what I'm giving you. Where in Miami Beach? House on Collins Avenue. Ten, twelve. Get him. Get Bobby for me. Kill him for me. about Miami Beach, sailor. I said, are you paying any attention to me or you'd rather look at Miami Beach through that window? Just watching for the cab. Cabs ring doorbells. Come here. Come here to me. I don't like rough, Bobby. Take it easy. You're kidding. Ain't you kidding? Don't do that, honey. We got real close once. Do it over. I said, do it over. I told you I don't like rough. I told you. You'll tame. You'll tame easy. You'll never make it. You'll... Hey, cabbies ring bells, friend. Ah. Shannon. You okay, sailor? Take him for me, Slate. I gotta teach you again, huh? Yeah. You're nothing. Yeah. It goes like that, Shannon. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. You finished? You finished now? It's all over, sailor. What about that girl back at the key? I I sent a doctor to her. He'll take care of her. Take me home, Slate. Sure. And on the way, we'll tell people about this guy here. Let's go to Havana, sailor. Slate. Shut up. Fish don't like husky voices. 
a spike sailor. Now, watch me fight him. Look at him cut the wave. Where? Where? Back away. Now, you'll be on your dinner plate tonight. Ah. Now, this is a smart cookie. He knows when to give up. He's not even fighting me. Get the gaff, sailor. On my dinner plate, huh? You've hooked a hat. A straw hat. <laughs> yeah, those Panamas will give you a lot of fights, sailor. Give it to me. Six and seven eighths, knucklehead. You didn't even get the right size. Oh, don't pout, Slate. Come here. See? You've got one who'll never get away. <laughs> And so, our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.